Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host Larry and today we're talking about how you submit a ticket to the Discord Trust and Safety Council in order to report somebody for things like harassment, uh, posting of illegal content, creating a server that is specifically for illegal content or harassment. All of these things I will be covering along with how you need to get the information for Discord to investigate. So the first thing you need to do is go to Discord's support section. You can find that at support.discordapp.com and you want to find this button here at the top. It doesn't really matter if you're in one of these subcategories that says submit a request. Now it's worth noting that these this button covers a wide swath of things. It's everything from a tech support problem to a trust and safety problem we're going to be focusing mostly on trust and safety here today. And this covers a broad variety of things. It's like harassment, cheating, hacking, doxing, malware, all of these different illegal things like child porn and all that stuff. That stuff is all in here that you can report people for. Let's just say that for the moment, somebody's harassing you or somebody or a huge server's harassing people. And here's what you're going to need. You're going to need the link to the message that somebody sent you in harassment so they can start looking into it. If there's a bunch of messages, it might be a good idea to link all of them in succession because sometimes people type in like, you know, just a sentence at a time. You're going to need the user ID number, their unique user ID that you have to use the developer settings to find. Or if it's a server, you're also going to need the server ID to put into this little field. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about the rest of these little sections because I feel like most of them are pretty self-explanatory. So let's just say we need the user ID, server ID, and the link to offending message. So how do we find these? That's pretty easy. You just open up your Discord app. You go down to the lower left-hand corner. There's this little gear that says user settings. Open that bad boy up. And we want to find over here in the sidebar the appearance settings. And down here we have under advanced, there is a developer mode. We're going to toggle that to on and we'll shut all this stuff off. And what this is going to allow me to do is I can right click any user and I can copy their ID here at the bottom of this pullout menu and paste that into the rest of this. There's a slightly different process by which you have to go through all of this on mobile devices. I will link the Wikipedia page in the video description. So if you need that information, you can grab it. So let's just say this is the guy I want. I'll copy his ID and I will put that right here. So that's the user. Now we need the server ID. Let's say that there's some random server that's attacking people. Let's just right click this one and I could copy the server ID in the exact same way. You just right click it and then this pull out menu is down here at the bottom. Copy ID. And we'll put that right there. And then we also need a link to whatever message we think is offending. Like, let's say we don't let people do oof, but it's not actually offending. Uh, I will just right click this message and I will copy the message link. This will allow Discord's team to go directly to the offending message and see if somebody is in fact harassing you or not. This works both in private messages and messages on servers. However, a word of caution, um, if somebody deletes their message off of Discord, either an admin or the user themselves, Discord can't view it anymore. They don't keep a big track record of everybody's messages in a backup. It's either there or it's not, and then they get rid of it. So don't tell someone you're going to report them for this stuff. Don't give them any forewarning. Report them so it can be investigated properly, and then move on from there. Um, if you're kind of afraid that they might get deleted. You might go ahead and take a screenshot. That's what the attachment section is down here at the bottom of the page. You can attach pictures. I'm not sure what else they let you attach to this particular document, mostly screenshots, I'd imagine. And then when everything is done, you can use the captcha and then hit submit to make sure everything is hunky dory and ready to go and make sure all of these fields are filled out with as much information as you feel that you need to let them know what's going on so that they can actually investigate. And that's how you get all of the different things for IDs. Hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody.